Hey, it's Maggie Drew, one of the Mind the Gap hosts and one of the participants in this negative episode. In negative episodes, we discuss topics in a more casual setting. There's no research associated beforehand. Hopefully, the conversation will be interesting to some listeners. Last episode, we had some technical difficulties, and because this is a continuation of that recording session, we have the same technical difficulties. Hopefully, some of the post-editing helped fix some of those issues. It took days to fix, so we hope it's worth it. This episode, we'll be discussing... What are the worst names? I'm Keegan Gwydalyn. I'm Mackie Drew. And I'm Connor Doherty. And I'm Desiree Malone. All right. And uh, Desiree, you had a lot of uh, exposure to this. Do you want to give us a background of why, you, why you've got a lot of these? Okay. Well, I worked as a data entry operator at... Well, actually, I can't really say. And, <laughs> well, we would, we would uh, keep lists of the most interesting names that we came across while we were entering warranties, people's warranty information. That sounds exciting. Can you tell us more? It was extremely <laughs> exciting. <laughs> um, I don't know what else there is to... People ha- get diabetes, and they give us warranties, and they're like, here. Wait, warranties so on their diabetes? They're meters. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're di- yeah. They're like an insurance policy. Like so these are all <laughs> old people's names. No, no, not necessarily. There's yeah. lots of people who are young. They're also they're fat right. people's names. <laughs> <laughs> there are people who are of regular yeah. girth that are also young and yes, have diabetes. Yes, 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 I know. It genetic, depends on the type. It's genetic. It could be... I know. Depends on the know. type. But, however, m- most people type. were old. Yeah, as I was telling Keegan the one time, I actually, one of the places I got the most was Oshawa. They're just most people that were sending in their warranties were from Oshawa. You know, you know, Oshawa is the uh, diabetes capital of the world. <laughs> I think you just made that up. <laughs> Zero research, guys. Zero research. <laughs> uh, all right, so let's let's hear some some of these names, Des. Okay, well, I can go with. There's, there's a bunch of different kinds. There's the. Let's start with the dirty ones. Oh, dirty ones. Starting strong, then. <laughs> okay. There's the people, the ones that started with Harry. Okay. <laughs> Harry Beaver, Harry Assen, Harry Back, Harry Creamer, <laughs> Harry Dick, Sorry. Harry Fishback, <laughs> Harry Foot, Harry Hand, Harry Cunts. I think it was, <laughs> I think it was Kuntz, but there, there's no umlaut, so I'm say, just say, say how does it, how does it spelled? <laughs> K U N T Z. Do we need a declaimer on this episode? Oh, I don't know. Sorry, I'm sorry. Well, These are all names. They're names. They are names. Um, Come on, you see. Har- gotta... I'm almost done Forgive the Harrys. Us. Almost done. All right. Harry Lubbers. Harry Shoemaker. <laughs> Harry. Uh, I don't know Shoemaker so much. Harry Snape. <laughs> Harry Wortley. Harry Whitehead. Harry Wong and Harry Woodhead. Harry Potter. <laughs> Oh, there was also a Harry Topping, but that's not. Yeah. <laughs> Harry, Harry Hag and Harry Fister. Can't believe I missed those. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! All right, those are real names then. Yeah, those are people. Those are names people entered for. So, what else you got? Uh, okay. Among the dirties, what other dirties do you have? Among the dirties, well, then there's the the ones that are uh, Oriental, and they okay. just sound like something <laughs> dirty. I got uh, a few of those. Let's too. see. Chew and poon. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how is that spelled, please? C H U I N space P O O N. Chew and poon, dick poon, hung me poon, jock poon, uh, taekwon poon. That's like a style of picking um, up people. I know! <laughs> taekwon poon. <laughs> I feel I'm so sorry. National this is your Lampoon name. presents. If this is your name and you're listening to this, I'm, I'm deeply apologetic. Yeah, anyone with the last name Poon is going to be deeply offended. It's like a martial art. My <laughs> Poon. Okay, I'll, I'll skip. Okay, wait. There's a Y Poon and Y Hung Poon. Uh, now I'm, I'm just going to skip the rest of the Poons because I'll stop Aww. picking on them. There was um, Wang King, uh, Chu Yu, uh, Why Man, Sao Fun, A New Reg Sharma. <laughs> a new rag, uh, oh, my, my one friend. I had a friend, and we worked at Dairy Queen together. Her first name was Ramit Deep. <laughs> <laughs> that was sad. Okay, I have, I have a few more Oriental ones. Uh, Chilikshu. Um, Chilikshu? I don't know. Sh- and Shlong Wang. <laughs> um, too Long. Uh, well, I guess. I think that's most that's of the... That's the case for some people. Yeah, that's, that's, that's all the Oriental ones I can think of. 
Alright. <clears throat> well then, so what's the second category? Is there another category, or is it mostly dirties? Um, well, there are the ones that just are common. Oh, like names that you wouldn't recognize from, you know, comics like or something. And... Like Ronald McDonald, uh, <laughs> Bruce Wayne, Peter Parker, um, Donald Trump, who lived in, was in Angus, Ontario. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, you're Donald Trump. Yeah. Did you know that there's a Reddit Ontario and also an Emo Ontario? Did you know that there's a Dildo Newfoundland? No, I did not. <laughs> Wait, how is it spelled? Dildo, D-I. My god. <laughs> what a world. I will save that for Dildo. Henry Dildo, the inventor of the electric massager. <laughs> that was also another thing we came into um, contact with, I guess, during this. we didn't. It wasn't just funny people's names, it was also... Funny names of streets, funny names of towns and cities, and but I can't really think of any right now. Mm. I'm sorry, I, didn't, I wasn't prepared for this. <laughs> that's, that's, then you're following the rules. Okay, <laughs> I can give you a few normal. Well, they're not really normal, but they're, they don't follow any sort of category. Sure. Um, Mr. Oral Dusty Horn. <laughs> <laughs> um, Mr. Andy Constant Tacos. <laughs> <laughs> Constant tacos. <laughs> it's not just a name, but a way of life. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Myrtle Moneybird. Mr. Earl Grey. Oh, yeah. Earl Grey. What kind of tea he drinks? Uh, Ms. Kina Fishbush. Uh, I don't know if Iona is... Fishbush. I think Iona is a girl's name. All right, guys. There's a, there a few Iona. Like if you're Iona, listening to this, look into vaginosis and then hear Fishbush again. <laughs> okay, don't do that. <laughs> okay. Uh, people I, have already start, People have already opened a new tab. <laughs> <laughs> Gone too far. Uh, there's Iona Ford. Uh, Iona Mailman. Um, let's see. Gladys, his cock. <laughs> Carrie is cock. Don is cock. Matthew Pettipus. <laughs> Adrian Van Bergen Braben Beer. <laughs> Delbert Pinkerton. Harry Dickland. Oh, oh one, that, one that really... Oh, the names that really stuck out to me were the Aboriginals' names. There's a lot in Alberta. There was uh, Marvin Manyfingers. Murray Bertha Blackface. You'd get, like, I don't know... <clears throat> I see like, like horses like colors than nouns a lot of those my dad yeah, my dad those. knew a uh, he does jujitsu and uh, he did Taekwondo uh, <laughs> 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 with the uh, with and an then Aboriginal Keegan was guy. born <laughs> uh, he used the half child to he did, <laughs> he did jujitsu with a guy named Adam Big Canoe his last name was Big Canoe <laughs> that's not very funny. <laughs> I'll screw you. It's okay. How about that? It's, it's okay. I laughed. Good comeback. <laughs> yes. Uh, I'm like... trying to keep it like not bad language. So no, we're okay, talking about uh, Taekwon about... Poon. <laughs> I know. I mean, <laughs> I would have responded more. Harry Cunts. <laughs> oh God! Okay, I'm so we're sorry, get Harry an Cunts. Explicit rating for this one. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, how about this? this? Hilarious Vashon. What? Like funny cow. Hilarious Vashon. That's like someone's name? Yeah, hilarious. Like, haven't you, ever, haven't you ever heard of like Saint Hilarious? I don't know how it's pronounced. No. Actually. But... Saint Hilarious? It, there's no O in it. Is that a mountain? I don't, I don't know. It's a no, place. It's, it's a, name it's a, a saint. Saint. <laughs> saint Hilarious. Saint Hilarious. That's, the name, saint. Well, you know, <laughs> That's the name of a street, right? No. It's the name of a saint. Well, you know, Pope Hilarious. I got that one. <laughs> he was. Well, has he been. Was he sainted? St. Peter's... No, he no, he wasn't sainted. No, 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 no. He was Thank canonized, but he is he is Pope Hilarious. Recovering Catholics. Ex-Catholics. So it is a name. This yeah. person was Hilarious Cow. Well, French Cow. <laughs> mm, I think that's mostly... I've gone through quite a bit of names. Okay, well, you know, I got some here. Um, I've got a web page up, and this is the worst names in, in history. That's, that's quite a claim, but uh, here, here's a few. Uh, Merle Lester... Mm. Um, it's Oak Sukwang or OK Sukwang, <laughs> depending on how you want to pronounce it. Tyrannosaurus, Tyrannosaurus Rex Mullins, um, Tokyo Sex Whale, <laughs> uh, Dick Cock, um, uh, Kim Yu Suck. 
Dick Tips. <laughs> <laughs> he was on the cover of Inside Magazine. <laughs> Man Fook, so to speak. Um, let's see. Uh, Anis Afadas. Okay, that's not very good. Um, oh, this is... This is uh, Dewana Boner. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's that's what I got. <laughs> um, Boner, you got any? I don't have any. You know, I heard about... Uh, Desiree, you have one more, right? Um, well, I didn't get this when I was uh, doing data entry, but, you know, Mike Hunt. Michael, well, Mike. Yeah, yeah. Hunt. Or there's... I also forgot one poon. I'm sorry, poons, but I... <laughs> it's Young Gorpoon. <laughs> and, and... Oh, uh, Debbie Downer. Oh, uh, don't be a Debbie. Da- oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you know, for naming these, these names don't seem terribly, well, uh, nice to the child, at least. Yes, that's true. Uh, so, some parents got together, and two people mutually agreed that this was the best name for a child. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> so, uh, I was thinking, what are the morals? Like, what what obligations do you have if you were a parent? giving a name to a child well i mean obligations is a strong word i yeah. i would i, w- I okay, would be okay. hesitant to say that anyone is morally obliged to do anything that's well that depends if you yes it does depend yes okay so but in terms saying... of naming a child i don't know if you're morally obliged to do anything okay well the point that the, the fact that somebody can change their name is a big consideration but yes. people have to grow up with this name do you think it's it's ever wrong to name a child something? What if you name them like uh like I don't, well I can't even come up with something better than the ones that we've got. Um I don't know, like Mike Hunt. S- <laughs> Mike Hunt fine. Mike Hunt. Whatever. Somebody name somebody Mike Hunt, knowing that there's well, the certain connotations of that name. <laughs> Is that wrong? Well it's not nice. <laughs> <laughs> so you're you're a doctor and you gotta write down a, a name, prescription. A name for a child on their birth certificate. Well, it's not my business to interfere from a doctor. Okay, fair enough. See, <laughs> but we're getting into dangerous care territory here because uh, I don't know if any of you saw the Freakonomics documentary where they talk about mm, how yes, I people do. with ethnic names, uh, traditional black names, have much lower chance of getting a callback on the same resume in I've the United States. That. Would then you say in the same vein that some you like black parents have a more responsibility to name their children after white people? See, moral responsibility I don't I'm hesitant to say that. I would definitely say it's smarter to not give your child a awful name or How about an ethnic name? How about well, the name unique <laughs> spelled U N I K N E E E E. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, we've I all. I would be hesitant to hire someone. We've all, we've all clearly <laughs> seen the Freakonomics documentary by, <laughs> by, by, by Stephen Levitt and, uh, and Stephen Dubner. Yeah. But I actually, uh, I listen to their podcast frequently. And, uh, they've said that the conclusions that were drawn in the, um, in the Freakonomics documentary were the opposite that they drew in their book. Which I agree with, because I've read their book as well. They they mentioned that the, the that the name doesn't matter as much as the credentials, and that's the conclusion that right. they came to. Mm. And that I would agree with that. And, and but the, for the same resume, the name does matter. Yes, yes, yeah. it does. But but again, if you're talking about like, well, somebody person might have a minor uh, skill above them another person, it it may not. Yeah. So I, I don't think that there's really a problem with the names. I like my name. I think it flows well. I think I can say it all in one go, Mackie Drew. Uh, it's almost one syllable. <laughs> <laughs> I've met people who I've said, oh yeah, my friend Mackie Drew, and they think that that's your first name? Yeah. yeah. Because you say it all at once? Yeah. Because I introduced you, me to you as Mackie Drew? Yeah, Just exactly. Mackie Drew? <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. I don't know why I do that. one-off. But it works. Yeah. <laughs> people remember me. See, when I was, when I was growing up and stuff, and even to, to this day, I can't really, I, I don't like the name Keegan as like an adult name. You know what I mean? I totally like agree. It's, it's kind of like, it's okay for a kid, but like for an adult, I'm like, uh. No, 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 Keegan. I know what you're saying, cause, cause you, you see adults and they're all named like, like, uh, you know, Jonathan. Jonathan or, uh, or Gregory. <laughs> and, way to wear adults. And, and then, and then you get to, and you, like, I, I remember thinking of the name Nick. Like, that can't be an adult name. Yeah, yeah. How could there's, that be? there's names that have, 
age connotations, right? <laughs> I don't know. Like, yeah. apart from stuff that's just fallen out of fashion, like Eunice, or oh. like, you know, like, like that's that was the original intention of this episode was like, you know, talking about the least aesthetically pleasing names, like Eunice oh. or Helga or I Georgina. So. I think a lot of these names Bertha. are uh, Sorry, not Bertha. that aesthetically pleasing, though. Oh, yeah. You, well, I mean, in their entirety, but, you know, individually... Michael's a fine name. Yeah, exactly. Like, they're only awful in, the con- in like, the context of the culture and stuff like that. But I'm talking about names that are just superficially... Just not nice to hear. Okay, well, what, what do you think about like um, laws to do with naming child? Like, 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 for instance, does it have to conform to the language of the country? Like, could you have clicks in a name? Would that be okay? Like, blah blah blah. I, I like I said, I don't know about laws. I mean, I don't think it's smart. I don't think that person will get by very well in society if they have those clicks in their names. And the other thing is like. Um, my mom uh, teaches, uh, she used to teach kindergarten, now she teaches grade one in a very, very ethnically diverse area of Mississauga, Mississauga, Ontario, for any non-GTA listeners. <laughs> <laughs> so most of you. Yeah. Um, and uh, she found that people from China, Japan, Taiwan, Korea, places like that, all give their children anglicized names. So they give their children... They have, like, a ethnic name, but then they'll also have a name that sounds similar to how their ethnic name is pronounced. Can you give us an example? No. Not off the top of my head. Brilliant. All right. But moving on. I can. My, friend, right. my friend Ramit Deep. She doesn't go around calling herself Ramit Deep. She calls herself Rosie. It yeah. doesn't sound so the stuff same. Like that. Rosie Deep? Yes. <laughs> no. uh, the class. All right. Here's one. How about in uh, Shanghai Noon? The. Um, oh, I'm sorry. What Jack, is that? It's a movie. It's I have a, not seen it. Okay. It's a action comedy with Jackie Chan and, Jackie Chan Owen, and Wilson. Owen Wilson. Oh, I gotta see that. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> and Cowboy Jackie style. Chan is from obviously from China in this movie, and his Chinese name is Chan. And uh, Owen Wilson mishears it and gives him the name John. And actually, let me be complete. Uh, Jackie Chan, and this is a West, sort of like a Wild West type movie. Jackie Chan's name in the movie is Chan Win, and Owen Wilson mistakes it for John Wayne. <laughs> so funny. that's something <laughs> that, you know, uh, the parents will give their children an anglicized name. If their name is Chan, then they'll give them an English name that sounds well, see, like John. I don't get the uh, the idea of adding like like middle names for instance where it's sort of like like totem to to people who've died or something like that, you know? Yeah. Uh, I don't get that because it was, because the name is is about giving somebody identifiable. Well, the thing is there's I I think there's two types of sort of naming schemes and one of them is one where you're commemorating so people who are named after a grandfather or a grandparent or an uncle or, you know, someone significant in the family. And then there's people who are just like, here's a new name because we like it or whatever. Mm-hmm. My parents gave me the name Keegan because they thought it would be unique and not a lot of people would have it. Wrong. I thought, <laughs> that's interesting. Why? It was the case when I was, you know, See, in my generation. You know, that's, that's the, the thing. Case. You can actually look at now. Uh, you can go to baby naming websites and you can actually tell... What names are up and coming and will be popular at the point, you know? Yeah. There's actually people hired to be like baby name experts and consultants, and they follow those trends and say, like, if you want a unique name, don't pick any of these because they're up and comers. I think that's super useless, but okay, also, uh, also, I totally want that. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, anyway, the my middle name is Michael, which was which is also my father's middle name. I don't know if it goes any further back than that but i mean i kind of feel like that's why my middle name is michael because my father's middle name is michael now now, keegan we've we've talked about this before but you said you'd remove your middle name given a form that was easy yes that's true i agree uh but that's just because i want to eventually go by just like one name 
You mean share? Yes, I want to be famous enough that people like which <laughs> Gwydalin? Oh, that the only Gwydalin. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean well, which Gwydalin? Big ambition. So humble. Uh, <laughs> well, I want to get there. I'm not saying. No, I'm I think doing this yet. brings something interesting up. Something a bit from my personal life, uh, because me and my girlfriend were talking about if we ever had children, what would their last names be? Mm-hmm. Uh, neither of us. Well, I kind of want it to be my last name, but I understand that that's not fair. And I wouldn't want to take someone else's last name. I wouldn't impose that on someone else. So our children need to have unique last names. The one we're leaning towards right now is protagonist. (laughs) Oh, God. That's perfect. (laughs) This is a reference to the novel Snow Crash, which is fantastic, uh, by Neil Stephenson. Uh, it's like a cyberpunk novel, and the character's name in that is Hero Protagonist. (laughs) But he's, uh, I think he's Japanese. What they call uh, Nipponese in the novel because it's American, super American. Yeah. Um, and his name is spelled H I R O O, and he's yep. hero protagonist. So, so reminds me of from uh, that. Reminds and... me of heroes. Yeah, yeah, yeah hero. Yeah, it, it does. Similarly, his name which is was also a great hero. series until this season was before. Two. The, this <laughs> was which before was a great show, series though. until it continued. <laughs> <laughs> Once it's, they, uh, it's made like they're, season two, it they, just, they really <laughs> thought out season one and then they just messed up. Just gave up. I guess so. Yeah. They proved what they needed to. <laughs> Wasn't that during the writer's strike? Oh, yeah, it was. I remember that. But how do you guys feel about, um, invented last names? Is or that family legal? versus family lineage? Yeah, it's legal. You can change your name to whatever yeah. you want. No, but can you give a child, like, well, when you're giving, yeah, yeah. you can mm-hmm. just give them whatever name you want? Now, see, here's the thing. I like secular traditions, things that aren't, like, rooted in religion. Now, me and my girlfriend, are pl- not not just, we don't plan to, we're not just not planning to have children, we're planning not to have children, you know? <laughs> uh, but we've discussed it for fun, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But um, she likes the idea of giving it my last name, you know, as it, it, a tradition, not like not like not like a... Well, yeah, it's true. It's not a particularly religious tradition. It's more of a cultural tradition. It, I yeah, think, it, it's right? about uh, what is it? What's the term? Patriarchy. I'm no, uh, the other one. Lineage. No, no, it's about uh, inheritance. Oh. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, m- patriarchy. Patriarchy is a, po- a component of it, yeah. but I mean, it's just. I think. I think rather than it being a a, a predominantly pre- pre- uh, but it was also a house thing. Patriarchy right? thing. Like, patriarchy. Where are you from? I think it's a simpler... That is the male's, though. I it's think like it... the male's house. Yeah. I think it's a simpler system. The head of the house and is yeah. named after them. Yeah. So. Yeah. I just think it's a simpler system. You know what I mean? Like, that was what they were thinking back then because it was simpler. But also, you have to consider, this is something that I've thought of, um, is that names used to matter. Names don't matter anymore. Like, I, maybe if your last name's I, Kennedy and it's related to I the totally Kennedy's agree, yeah. That's true. But you can come up with anything, like the name... Doherty is equally valid to the name no, protagonist. No, 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 no. Because you got to make sure that the URL isn't taken yet. <laughs> <laughs> no, Matt, don't worry. I'll I got buy Matt my Drew child's up. URL on the day <laughs> buy it now. I sign the diff- certificate. Buy it now. <laughs> Invest. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I got MackieDrew.com. I got MackieDrew.org. I got MackieDrew.net. Exactly. I got MackieDrew.me. Yes, absolutely. Me. Yeah. What country is that from? No, it's, it was made up for personal websites. Oh, was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, well, I, okay, we'll talk about this. Never mind. I, we, I want to do an episode on, uh, on uh, the two Vian Islands. I seriously do. It's this very one is interesting. Good brain? No. Tuvalu? TV? Yeah, that's not TV. Oh, that is, yeah. yeah. But I got a whole bunch of other stuff on, on uh, okay. uh, the two Vian Islands. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Uh, where were we? Oh, yeah, the other thing that's interesting is um, how... You know the last names, uh, last name naming scheme varies between cultures and stuff like that, right? I don't think that's interesting at all. Prove it to me. <laughs> I, <think it's> my... <laughs> I will use an example that is f- my favorite show, Futurama. Ah, uh, yeah. We'll hear, you'll hear a lot. Connor, of good show, good show. It's yeah. okay, I guess. Uh, it's solid. Connor, do you uh, did you notice in the most recent seasons uh, that they made a mistake with? Yes, Tarangalila. Yes. yes, turns out it wasn't a mistake. Oh, but, I'm sure. So, so th- <laughs> the fans <laughs> defending continuity. What is no, no, no. The it was the creators that said this. Um, 
So what was the mistake? So all right. her name is Taranga Leela. Yes. Her first name is Taranga and her last name is Leela. Mm-hmm. But if you look in the most recent season, the her parents are named Taranga Morris and Taranga I can't remember that. Wow, what, what a bad fan. mother's name. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, what the hell? They messed it up. They messed it up. Her last name is supposed to be Leela, not Taranga. Was it the first name just so in the Futurama sewer mutant culture, Leela is a mutant that uh, her parents are sewer mutants and she was born with so few mutations that she can pass it off as an alien. Um, but she, uh, in the sewer mutant culture, the last name, or sorry, the... The first name is passed down. The last name is of the parents is the first name of the child. I see. I don't oh, know so how that works if there's multiple. You said people. they were Taronga Morris and Taronga oh, yeah. Mother. It's actually Morris Taronga? No. It's I call mother. BS. You are apologizing for a mess up that they made and they didn't catch, and Apologies. so were they. No. Um, he this is, apologist. No, because I, this, was, this really bothered me for a while. Why? Because I respect Futurama for the effort they put into it. They have, I think I've seen like six different time travel mechanisms in the show. (laughs) Like they they use a different time travel mechanism every time they use time travel. Because time travel's BS. Yeah, yeah, but (laughs) I mean there's no continuity in the show. I love the show because of the lack of continuity, if anything. I don't know why you're defending this so hardly. So hardly? Is that not true? Is that not correct? What am I saying? <laughs> fiercely, perhaps? So sure, hard. fiercely. Okay, I like Futurama. Anyway, you're right, though, Connor. It is Taranga, Morris, and Taranga, whatever. Yeah. But it is the first name that's passed down. That's okay. the rule. So, I found that interesting. Especially oh. since... And I thought that it was a mess up because they always refer to the character as Leela just like they refer to the character as Fry. They refer to the characters by their last name instead of their first name, which is just maybe a future thing. I don't know. All right, guys, let's wrap this up, but I'm going to end in one really terrible trivia piece. Okay. In the Manchu tribe in China, you know where this is going. The, the, um, I actually don't know where this is going. It's the mother's duty until the son gets married to give um, oral sex to the son. To relieve them. Why is this related what? to names? Because uh, it was it was about lineage. <laughs> anyway, before we actually close up, I have a question to pose to you guys. Sure. Um, why do you think, like, a lot, it seems to me that a lot of celebrities like to be jerks to their kids and name them things like blanket and moon unit and Asshole. moon unit. Yes. What's, What's moon unit? I don't know who that was, but someone named their kid moon unit, and then just recently, um. Kim and Kanye, uh, Kim Kardashian and Kanye West, they named their daughter North, so she'll be named Northwest. <laughs> are you guys gonna, are you gonna answer Frank that? Well, okay, what I've heard is that that's not their actual name, they're just saying that to protect their kids from paparazzi and stuff I don't like think that. So, so that if a, if a, pi- or if a teacher in the class is like, oh, I've got Kanye West's kid, you know, they'll see, it's like if they told them their real name, then everyone would know it. The teacher would be able to sell it and be like, oh, I have Kanye West's child in my class, as opposed to it being more anonymous or something like that. I don't think that's it. I think these are probably their actual names. So what do you think Like Rebel Alley is Ron Howard's child. Moon Unit is Frank Zappa's child. Um, I think Apple. Apple's someone's child. Yeah, well, Apple is someone from Coldplay, right? Yeah. Guys, guys. Yeah. Yeah. No. I I don't think that these are I I don't I don't agree with Connor here. I don't think they're these, the real names. That they're their their real names. I think I, I think that it makes a lot of sense what you can say. It would make a lot of sense just generally. And also I had no idea Kim Kardashian and Kanye West were having a child. <laughs> I had heard the now you know Moon Zappa. I just looked her up. Is she's an American actress and she goes by the name Moon Zappa. Yeah, that's fine. And she was born in '67. It's a which was before this crazy celebrity culture really manifested. All right, guys, we're coming up on half an hour here. You want to wrap this up? Never. 
<laughs> All right. Well, you know, I'm gonna say we're wrapping this up, Keegan. You wanna wanna I don't know say something. Is there any summary we need to do? No. Um. All right. I'll say one thing. Uh, if you're having kids, don't be mean. Name them something that's not terrible. <laughs>